This is Michelle Knight and Mr. Boo. And this is your astrology for the week starting the 13th of August. Now this week you have an amazing opportunity and a challenge. And you have to be a warrior of a Taurus and do the right thing for yourself. Now on the 14th we have Mars, the planet of war and passion and action. Conjunct Saturn, the planet of responsibility, and that is in your sixth house. So there may be a part of you that thinks, right, I am going to chow down on my responsibilities and I'm going to push through and I'm going to achieve something stunning. And you can do that this week. Or you might be consumed with a desire to control yourself or someone else or become too much of a perfectionist or really internalize that struggle. Please don't do that. You are beautiful. And Mars is saying, come on, you can do it. Believe in you. Then we have a new moon on the 17th and the new moon is all about a new cycle. Being able to look at an aspect of your life or feel an aspect of your life in a new way and evolve because it's a new moon. It's the beginning of a new cycle of that energy. And yours is in the fourth house of your security, your family and your home. You are looking at things from a new and fresh perspective. You are allowing yourself to enter a new dimension when it comes to your home and your family and you're opening up to saying, okay, I put the past behind me, let's all start again and let the love reign. If you've had very difficult connections with your family and maybe you have to walk away, then possibly this is the time you will walk away. But whatever you do, do it with a heart full of love for yourself and for people's different journeys and different decisions and try not to take anything personally. Now, the other fascinating thing happening this week is there is a mystic rectangle, and that is for you with the moon, the planet of your emotions in the fifth house, the planet of pleasure, trining Pluto, the lord of transformation in the ninth house of adventure, opposite Venus, the planet of love in the third house of communication, sextining moon in the fifth house, opposite Neptune in the eleventh house, sextile Pluto in the ninth. That is a mouthful. But if I were to break it all down, I would say that it's saying to you, OK, my Taurus friend, do not look to the past this week. The mystical triangle wants you to believe in the present and the future, to cast aside any of the burdens of the past, even the joys of the past, and have the courage to believe in your future and know that the journey is the destination Right here, right now, you have the opportunity to step into a new you, to cast off the cloak of insecurity and fear, all the burdens and chains of the past, and step in to being the warrior that you are and embracing the adventure ahead. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.